Let's sign ourselves in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. We are all familiar with the passage of the coming of the storm. Our scripture for today is taken from the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 8, verses 23 to 27. Let's read it together prayerfully. As Jesus got into a boat, his disciples followed him. Suddenly a violent storm came up on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by waves, but he was asleep. They came and woke him, woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. He said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of a man is this, whom even the winds and the sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our main verse for today is verse 26, where Jesus says to his disciples, Why are you afraid, O men of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. Let us pray. Jesus, we love you. Speak to our hearts and give us wisdom so that we can see what is in this scripture for us today and apply it to our lives. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. The gospel of the day is a reminder and an eye-opener for us to realize the wonderful person that we have in the boat of our lives, Jesus, and to be grateful to, to him for his wondrous presence. Matthew tells us that when Jesus and his disciples got into the boat, there was a sudden violent storm. The Greek word used for storm is seismos, which means shaking or an earthquake. The disciples were right in the midst of something like a sea earthquake and it came on suddenly. They were experienced fishermen and knew what it was about storms, yet they were afraid. They were in a dangerous situation and were naturally afraid. Then Jesus rebukes them saying, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? You know, he is not really rebuking them. But he is exposing them to an area of their life beyond fear. How often is our life too so similar? We sail across calmly, you know, enjoying peace and serenity of life. When suddenly, sometimes we are hit by a deadly storm in the form of a major crisis in the family or the community, an unexpected sickness to us or to a loved one, some unimaginable disaster arising in our workplace or some absolutely unforeseen problem. Then we find ourselves totally despairing in the thick of that storm. You know, the waves of our boat, the waves hit the boat of our lives so badly and violently that for a, for a moment our heart skips a beat and we think, is it all going to be over? That for a split second, we let go of every hope and we feel, is it really the end? Here's what changed for the disciples in their life. Jesus is now in their boat, not literally, but in every area of their life. They moved beyond fear to total faith in the Lord when Jesus calmed the sea. Similarly, when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior and invite him into our lives, things change and a new dynamic begins to grow in our life and that is faith. Faith goes beyond fear as we begin to see not with our physical eyes but supernaturally with faith. The author of Hebrews in Hebrews 11 verse 1 defines faith as the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. 
we get further assurance when we read deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8 it is the lord who goes before you he will be with you he will not fail you or forsake you or forsake you do not fear or be dismayed so jesus tells us very clearly that he is going to be with us in our boat so how can we apply this scripture to our lives one when we are in the storm of life we must follow jesus and how do we do this we must get to know jesus by reading and meditating on his word in the middle of the storm jesus is able to find total rest why because he knows his who his father is when we follow jesus we find rest point number 2 in the storm we have to call on jesus psalm 91 verses 14 to 16 then again in the storm we have to have faith in jesus build our house of faith on the rock who is jesus and who gives us our faith matthew 7 verses 24 to 27 as i close this reflection i am reminded of a hymn we are all familiar with with jesus in my boat i can smile in the storm smile in the storm smile in the storm with jesus in my boat i can smile in the storm when i am sailing home so friends let's invite jesus to be in our boat at all times and trust him like little children thank you